times and places for things. Well, the next time you're giving a lecture series on social braces, would you let me know? Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday and uh, I'm running a little bit late, woke up a little late. I felt quite crap about myself recently for the past week. So um, it's very nice right now that a friend of a friend is doing a yoga class and then we're gonna go for brunch. So I'm excited about that. Um, I haven't really done a lot of physical activity lately because of my back. So um, it's nice to go there and I'm just gonna be nice and gentle with myself. I have called the car. I'm late, so yeah, I have to take the car and uh, yeah, I'll take you guys with me. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good morning, Anya. Yes. So we just got done with yoga, it was so good. And uh, now it's time to eat. So we're going to this place called Larina Italian restaurant. I'm very hungry. The world's pain. That's uh what's his face? That's a good little cage do somewhere. But you like I love this one. Face. <laughs> I couldn't help it. <laughs> You're already in it, okay? No. Whatever you want it, whatever you don't want it. Right, that's what I want to get. I want to get movie pass. Black Panther is playing at 5.15. We came to see Death of Stalin, but it looks like it's not at the right time. Death of Stalin, here we go. So we missed the Death of Stalin, but now we're going to Black Panther, because that's what's playing right now, so I guess it's meant to be. So it's midnight and uh, so we watched Black Panther uh, and it was so good I thought it was so well done cinematography was a little crazy like I I think it was like they were a little too into the circular motion and made me feel a little sick but also the theater that we were in it was so big and I was kind of sitting on the very very side of it so I was like always like looking like crooked a little bit so I'm sure that didn't help the perspective but I loved I loved I thought the story was so deep and it was just so beautifully done and I just can't even imagine how empowering it, it is anyway I'm rambling because after that we went to the restaurant and just like sat with my girlfriends for like three hours just chatting it was so refreshing and I felt like it was so good for me because I would just usually spend a lot of time by myself so yeah that's like the best thing you can do is hang out with friends i forget about it sometimes and right now i have a baby here who really missed me is it a smush oh he's smush he missed his mama it's time to go i know i know he's looking at me my baby okay let's go to bed let's go to bed time to sleep I'll see you tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow is an important day because it's election day in Russia. And I'll take you to vote. Happy Sunday, everybody. 
uh, it looks very nice outside, so uh, I'm excited to go out. And uh, today is a special day because it's election in Russia, uh, Putin's election, as they say. Uh, but I want to go and vote mm, because I want to keep my side of the street clean. You know, just do my civic duty. Oh! I'm gonna be heading to the embassy. It is uh, uptown. I think it's like, uh, I think it's an upper, upper east side. Um, yeah, so it's gonna be quite a trip. I'll take a book on the subway with me. And I will vote. After that, I need to make a stew because um, I'm trying to batch cook on weekends. Like a stew, make a stew or a soup or a curry or something like that. Ah! Good catch. Oh my goodness. I need to fix this shelf because it's not... Eh. Okay, I'm back. I fixed the shelf. I actually don't remember who I voted for the last time. I mean, obviously it wasn't Putin, but who did I vote for? I don't even remember. Um, it's always very controversial back home. Like if you're going to the elections, if you're not going to the elections, because the result is kind of obvious, you know, it's all bought, uh, or not bought, but like it's all fake. So, cause Putin will win anyway. And, um, I just think that you gotta do what you gotta do and you're not in control of everything so you just have to do your job and everything else will be figured out after that so I'm trying to do what I can do to change the situation so that our country has a nice bright future it's very interesting to be voting abroad because uh, there's like I'm really out of the loop of things and uh, uh, like I don't I don't feel the hype or I don't feel like the mood of pe people's mood I need to find my passport Jesus and then I have to go to the market and um, get some gross groceries because I'm really low I'm really tired of this cold when is it gonna stop it's really kind of already like annoying and the wind here is so bad that Sometimes I just really don't want to go out. But yeah, and then I'm gonna come home after that, get the stew going uh, and uh, do some work. Michael is coming back later tonight from his Aspen trip. You just stay like this. It's kind of cool. Like battle, battle makeup. is in real life so don't get scared of my face it's not that bad yeah I can't wait for some like fresh air and warm air so that I can spend a little more time outside working out biking and all that <laughs> Okay, thank you for doing my makeup with me. I mean, I didn't do lips, but whatever. Um, yeah, it's time to head out and um, do my civic duty and I'll take you guys with me. Oh my God, what a lovely day. I'm so happy right now. Right. Thank you. 
East side and I'm about to approach the consulate. That is the line to vote. Oh boy. I got home, cuddled with the cat for a little bit because I was tired, but now it's time to make a uh, vegetable stew. I made an absolutely fabulous one last weekend and uh, it lasted for several days and it was, it was getting better every day as a good stew should. garlic aroma. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet potatoes are gonna be the sort of a main character in this stew. Interestingly enough, we don't really have sweet potatoes back home in Moscow. So when I just came here, I couldn't figure out why are they sweet and what's the what's the whole point but first thanksgiving quickly uh you know put everything back in place for me and now i'm a big fan of sweet potatoes roasting pan fried in a stew Everybody's alive, that's all that matters. Ooh, I wanna show you guys what's going on in the pot right now, because there's some good stuff happening. So they're sweating over there, just in with olive oil and their own juice, carrots, onions, celery, and garlic. And the aroma here is amazing. And this is right now the base of the stew, and I'll start adding more things very soon. So the spices that are gonna go in, ground cumin, oregano, black peppercorns, and paprika. I mean, among from salt, obviously. Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just throwing things in. And let's them sweat a little more with spices. Oh, I wish that you could like tell how good it smells it's amazing oh my god oh. I'm a genius all right back to my sweet potatoes they almost killed me ah, shit. all right 
right, so all the main ingredients are in. Sweet potatoes just joined the party. And I'm gonna let it sit and do its thing for about 30 minutes. And, and what, what I'm also gonna do while this stew is cooking, I'm gonna roast more of the sweet potatoes because that's something that I'll have over the week anyway, so I'd rather prep it right now. Sweet potatoes, and they're gonna go. Oh, damn it! I have a pan cooking inside my oven. I'm such an idiot. Thanks God, it was only like less than a minute. Cooking with Anya. This is so good. This is so good. I'm so proud of myself. Oh my goodness. Oh, you guys should check it out. Look at this. This is a perfect dish to have over the week. This is so good. It only gets better every day. I'm so proud of myself for this batch cooking session. Look at these nice potatoes. Focus, focus, focus. There you go. Um. Now I'm just gonna let them cool down and then I put them in a, in a container and I'll use them in salads or just as a side for dinner. It goes, why are you mailing again? Look at this guy. What? I gave you dinner. I gave you dinner twice. What do you want from me? I started drinking tea regularly again. I was just in such a coffee kick all the time, but now I'm back to drinking tea and this feels so good. This is a very nice black tea and I'm enjoying it so much. I'm just waiting for Michael right now. He's about to come back and we're gonna have this too that I made for dinner and then I'll retire to bed because I'm actually very tired right now. Oh, look at that lint roller sitting over there. Yeah, I'm like ready to go to bed. And I'm having this Russian gingerbread cookies with tea. It's so good. They're called pryaniki and it's they're just something that I love so much. You just dip them into tea and they get so soft and nice and I'll have that while I'm waiting for my goal. I know you're not supposed to have dessert before dinner, but hey, I don't live with parents, so I can do whatever I want.